Perplexity, Claude, Jasper, Grok, and DeepSeek. All these chatbots we're going to discuss today as we conclude our 10 part series at Tech for Senior on learning AI for the over 50. Welcome back to the channel. It's Ron Brown with Tech for Senior, and this is episode number 10 of a series learning AI for the over 50. In the description, I will put the links to the prior nine episodes along with the playlist so you can easily find all 10 episodes on our YouTube playlist. I hope you've enjoyed these. It's been a lot of fun making them and certainly a growth in my personal journey for AI. Just to let you know who I am, I, I manage a large YouTube channel and spend most of my time making YouTube videos. When I started this series, my favorite go-to AI was Gemini, and I used it all the time. I'm not a big Microsoft person, not that I hate Microsoft, I just, in the type of work I do, uh, I just don't use a lot of Microsoft products, so I have rarely used Copilot. Over the six months it took to do this series, I've uh, fallen in love with ChatGPT, uh, for a variety of reasons, including formatting issues, and it just is great. So this is my now new go-to favorite AI. But a lot of people that watched my videos commented and said, uh, why did I didn't talk about Perplexity, Claude, or some of the other chatbots? So in episode 10, I am going to do that, and we're going to go through the five that I indicated early on in this video, and I'm going to give you some pointers about that. So I don't use these on a regular basis. All right, let's have a look at the first one called Perplexity. All right, this is uh, Perplexity. Uh, again, looks a lot like our prior chatbots. Uh, if you come down here, you'll see I've signed up today for this. And, you know, I got the pro account. I have no idea why I got the pro account. Uh, it's free. I signed up and I have the pro account for about six months. So, uh, Hey, it was, it was interesting. You just go to perplexity.ai and you can sign up. You can sign up through your Google account if you want, uh, and it works just fine. All right, let's have a look. Um, of course, what do you want to know? In the center part here, you'll see Ask Anything, and you can do a search. Uh, and again, the pro search is enabled. Uh, and of course, you, or you can click this button and you can do research, which gives you advanced uh, research capabilities. And of course, if we come over on the bottom here, if we click this button, we can choose a model. Uh, if we choose a model here, uh, you have a bunch of different uh, models to choose from. We've gone over this with the other chatbots. I'm not going to go through that. Interestingly, um, I assumed Grok, which we'll be talking about, is, a, is an X product only, I thought. But uh, apparently you can see use Grok's. Uh, AI through perplexity, which is interesting, and I didn't know that, but uh, uh, maybe some of you could comment if you use that in the in the chat. Uh, again, we come over here, set sources for filing for searching. You can choose uh, the web. Uh, you we can choose academia or social. We can add these in or out. You can turn those on or off. We can add a file if we want to bring up files to add to uh, our search. And of course you can do um, all this through dictation. If you just click this, you can dictate into your search for you. Over on the left-hand side, you'll see we have home, we have discover spaces and library. Library is uh, is what you can uh, look up, help, uh, sort of a help, help menu. Spaces would be uh, for collaboration. And discover, of course, is um, options you have for uh, setting up for searches. So just to summarize, Perplexity is an AI search assistant a lot like Google, but is powered by AI. Its strengths are gives cited answers with sources great for research, real-time internet, real internet access great for news. It's a very simple inf interface. It's best for people who want accurate answers with sources like students or researchers. It its weakness is it's not designed for creative writing or casual chatting. So that's a summary of Perplexity. You just go to perplexity.ai and it's free for you to use. All right, this is uh, Claude. 
by Anthropic. You spell that C-L-A-U-D-E. The company is Anthropic. Again, just go to Claude, C-L-A-U-D-E dot A-I, and you will be able to sign up for a free account. I just did that, and this is the, um, uh, this. I'm on the free plan. Uh, it, certainly, you can upgrade this if you want. Uh, let's have a look at it. It's, it's a very simple, uh, easy-to-use menu here. Um, again, uh, we have a new chat on the left-hand side. As we come down here, we have some buttons. Um, uh, we, we can put whatever we want in our search here. There's a little button here, normal, concise, explanatory, formal. Uh, it can help you if you want to write something, uh, learn, code, life stuff, or Claude's Choice, which of course it can give you some options for what you want and you just uh, can do that search right here. Uh, for a new chat, you just come up here, click the button, and I guess it stores your old chats down on this side. So that is uh, Claude, very simple, easy to use interface. It is a conversational AI that is very safe and helpful. Its strengths are, it, it, it reads long documents, up to 200,000 words. It's very polite, very clear, and good for summarizing and explaining. It's best for reading documents, writing help, and chatting safely. The weakness is it doesn't yet browse the internet in real time. This may be coming and may, of course, be there by the time you watch this video. So that is Claude, C-L-A-U-D-E. You might want to give it a try. I know a lot of people use it. All right, let's talk about Jasper, J-A-S-P-E-R. Jasper is a marketing and content creation AI. Now, it's not something that everybody will want. It has a unique focus for marketing head content creation. Uh, it's, built, it's built for writing blogs, ads, and social media posts. And it's great for business users and marketers. So if you are in that area and you are a professional working in those fields, this may be for you. It has team collaboration tools. It's best for small business and content creators, but it's not free. It's not really meant for answering random questions like, like ChatGPT is. It's more of a focused business application. Uh, if you, maybe if you are interested in that, again, Jasper may be something that you want to look into. All right, let's talk about Grok, G-R-O-K. Uh, this is, of course, is a chatbot that's integrated with X, or you remember, Twitter. So in order to use Grok, you have to be a member of X or Twitter. Now, its strengths are it has uh, attitude and humor, so it can be quite funny to use, but it does get its real-time data from X. So it's best for users who like uh, quick and informal answers that are on X. Its weakness is that you can't use it outside of X, and it has less serious or academic searches. So if you are on X, then this might be something you want. It's called Grok, G-R-O-K. And you do have to be on X to be able to use it. So the last one I want to mention is called DeepSeek. And again, you can go and sign up for this at the website deepseek.ai. Now this, of course, made a big splash this past year and has become very popular. It is made and created in China, so there has been a lot of security concerns about it. Uh, it has a multi multilingual support. It has its strong technical subjects, especially with specializing in coding. It's open sourced and it's fast growing. Probably best for developers or people working with technical documents. The weakness is that it might be harder for beginners to use or access. So depending on your needs, it is there is a free version. It is free and there is also a, a Windows app, a Mac app, and also you can use a Chrome extension as well for it. So there are many options if you want to use it. It is very popular, but probably not for the beginner. All right, just to summarize, we've talked about Perplexity, Claude, Jasper, Grok, and DeepSeek. This concludes episode 10 of the 10-part series on learning AI for the over 50. 
I do hope you have enjoyed the series. It's been a lot of fun making it and a great personal growth for myself. At Tech for Senior, we make a lot of videos about various topics and would sure appreciate that like and subscribe. Also, making these videos cost a lot of money and certainly would appreciate any donations you can make to our coffee fund. And we'll put, of course, the link in the description where you also will find the links to all the prior nine episodes and the playlist for the series. Hope to see you again as we produce more videos about different topics. I do appreciate your listening to our videos. And until we see you again, have a great day. Thank you.